I'm on site today, I've popped in to see David Roach, one of our evening students. He's doing a three year program in order to become a domestic installer. So we're gonna have a poke around on the job that he's doing. It's a massive, effectively rewrite, it's almost a new build. They've extended every single wall out in this property and he's experienced all the systems from first to second fix. We're gonna look at the consumer unit. There's an island socket I wanna show you and some other bits and bobs as we go around here that I thought was quite cute. Let's go to the consumer unit next. Okay, so as best I can, I'm just going to show you this consumer unit. We've seen these before. These are the Hager ones, and we like some of the key features that they had in them. We've got the SPD, the surge unit here. We've got a 100 amp double pole or linked main switch. We can clearly see that some circuits being worked in in this installation have been safely isolated and locked off, which is fantastic to see. Remembering the RCCBs for the Hager boards are all A-type. So you can see on there the little A-type symbol as well as being rated at 100 amps. So we don't know the loading of this half of the board. There's one, two, three, four, five breakers on this half of the board. So Hager go with, if the main incoming switch is rated at 100 amps, the incoming fuse can be rated at 100 amps, and also the RCCBs are rated at 100 amps. 30 milliamps, type A RCCBs. And we've got another one over here again, type A, rated at 100 amps. And we've got several other circuits and some space down here to extend some more circuits. There's some more circuits going in as well. So things we like about these boards, surge is built in, 100 amp type A RCCBs. And we certainly like what's going on in this installation. I've already had a walk around and we're nicely safely isolated as well. So as the beverages have been made behind me, I just thought I'd stop at the island here just to show a clever little innovation. So we've got a socket outlet hidden there with a slow release. We've got two socket outlets and we've got a USB point as well. I know Dave, the electrician here, has wired this in a six mil radial circuit, giving him the flexibility in the future. If they decided to change the island arrangement, they'd never get a cable back here. Maybe they'd want some fancy grill on here. He's got a six mil cable, he's got some flexibility in order to do that. But I quite like this socket outlet. We come through here to the master suite. Okay, so. When that view is completed with grass, etc., that will look lovely. We come through here. Automatic light sensor. So have a look up here. Got a sensor there. And we've got beautiful his and hers sink, shower, and toilet. So that's a lovely ensuite bathroom. Okay, we come through here to the double French doors. And then you've got the classic switches both sides of the bed, USB socket outlets, wall lights, etc., as well as the ability to have a entertainment system mounted on the ceiling. So walk-in wardrobe, we've got a, a light switch on the outside that's in the on position because again, when we open the door, the sensor on the ceiling picks it up and automatically puts on the lights. Dave wired all of this. So we're in the kitchen now. So what do you find in a kitchen? You always find somebody sitting down with a cup of tea and that's a painter. And where you find one painter sitting down, you'll find a second painter and decorator sitting down and you need your phone, yes. And then you're okay because the foreman's here as well. So as Dave was showing me round, I was drawn to this section here, probably the entertainment section here in the living area. And we've got a row of sockets, etc., down the bottom, a row of sockets at the top, giving them a flexibility to move the home entertainment system around. But I was drawn with my finger to this section here, quite tactile, okay? I said, well, what's going on here? What we've got buried in the wall is a 25 millimeter conduit between here and here with a bend at each end. So cables can be passed either from above to below or from below to above in order to have that flexibility with the home entertainment system I like that these were homemade they didn't buy them in so they made it themselves maybe there is uh, equivalents out there in industry but I like the fact that they've buried a conduit in there allowing you to pass cables from one section to another in the home entertainment area so massive thanks to Dave, just showing me around there. I haven't done much on camera, just a few little quips there for us. So we had another look at the consumer unit. We saw that island socket, the conduit I liked buried in the wall. And I hope some of these things can inspire my learners in order to take on slightly larger projects as they develop their skills over a three year program in order to become a domestic installer. And as always, I hope this video has been some help.